Uh, good morning. I want to thank our witnesses for being here today. Um, we're here to discuss the worldwide threat to, uh, um, of terrorism. Interestingly, you were originally invited to this hearing weeks ago with a different theme. Back then, the hearing was going to cover the continued threat posed by terrorist organizations following the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. I wonder why that changed. I wish this hearing was focused on Afghanistan. The world watched as the Biden administration botched the withdrawal, leading to the deaths of 13 service members in an explosion outside the Kabul airport. President Biden promised we wouldn't see another Saigon. He was wrong. He promised he'd get all Americans and our allies out of harm's way, but he abandoned them. He promised that Al-Qaeda was gone, but common sense will tell us that's not true. He promised his over-the-horizon capabilities were just as good as traditional means of counter-terror, then launched a drone strike that killed 10 civilians, including children. Any one of these failures warrants a hearing, but we have not had them. I wonder why. Since withdrawal, life in Afghanistan has not improved. For example, the Taliban's new government contains U.S.-recognized terrorists. The Taliban threw a military parade with American equipment. The Taliban have brutally beat women and children for protesting for their rights, and the Taliban are actively hunting our allies for execution. But this committee remains silent while it's held hearings on bills, not under committee's jurisdiction, paychecks for soccer players, and the Green New Deal pipeline. I hope we can learn today how the Biden administration plans to ensure the safety of Afghanistan, including our former troops who are former allies and the women and girls, what our current over the rising capabilities are, and how the Biden administration plans to stop Afghanistan from becoming a safe haven for terrorism. The last time the Taliban controlled Afghanistan, the result was the worst attack on the homeland in six decades. I sincerely hope we are well positioned to stop that from happening again. I'd like to thank our witnesses again for being here today, and I yield back.